Yes, I first of all want to um, appreciate God for keeping you alive and keeping you well. Um, Africa has had a lot of politicians, but has, had, <coughs> but has had few leaders. And the problem of Africa has been leadership. And um, it's, it's about a couple of years now that we actually believed God that God will bring people <coughs> Um, leaders into, into office, people have the mindset of not just um, being shining lights in the country where the domicile, but having Africa in the bigger picture. And we want to appreciate God for keeping you. And also for the laudable um, step by prioritizing education. Um, like I said to people, there are many things in Africa that would have been in place if there was proper education. And hearing what you've done, um, making education um, free, uh, is something that we, we are very, very thankful for. Because most people will not see the seed now, over the years, when it begins to mature. That's when they understand that when you make people informed and enlightened, you're giving them a future. But the problem with Africans is that um, we have more politicians than leaders where everybody believes that what they call a successful leadership is when they have something in their pocket immediately. And when they feel that's not done, they get uncomfortable. I've been, by the grace of God, in my young life. Um, I've been preaching for 33 years now. And I've been privileged to meet a few presidents of the world, Africa. And, um, and I've always said that if we can get our people informed, there are things they will do for themselves. But if we keep thinking of what to do for them, what to do for them, what to do for them, it becomes, you know, a, a campaign comes up, somebody says, I'm going to do this for you. A campaign comes up, I'm going to do this for you. But the best one can do is to enlighten them. And you have taken that bold step, and we appreciate you for that. And we decided that um, we are having a program, and I will come let you know um, some of the things we are saying to you now are the things we have said about you on our pulpit behind you which um, mm. has gone viral to appreciate your level of mental alertness. I've had you speak, I've listened to you, and um, one of the time I had to take notes, I had to write, and that was when we were talking to the president of France. I had to, um, we were shocked for the first time that to see the leader, African leader was debunking assistance and doing that on public glare. So we appreciate you for making us proud. And we are here to let you know that we believe in you, we are praying with you, and we are happy that in our lifetime we are seeing people who make us understand that being in office is not just occupying the position, but understanding what leadership is. Thank you, Excellency. Obviously, I very much, because I've heard about you, things you've been saying about me. So, <laughs> so I've heard about you. And I want, first of all, to thank you very much. Especially for the prayers and the wish, the, the expressions of, of goodwill and good wishes that have come from you. And the fact that you have myself and all that trying to do it and done and, and I pray for success for us. Yeah, if somebody doesn't have a you know, you know, good heart, they won't pray for you. They won't pray for you means that they have your, your success and your good heart. So, I want to thank you very much for that. And I ask you to continue to do some the work we're doing where I am now. I need all the prayers and assistance that I can get. So it's, it's very encouraging for me as somebody who's not even from my direct space, from the African space, but not from the direct Canadian space, finds it possible to, to, to look at me and, 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 and seek God's favor for what I'm, I'm trying to do. So it's, it's a very encouraging step for me. I'm very happy that you, you're here in Ghana and that you found the opportunity to come and visit me. I don't know how long are you going to be in town? Uh, maybe less than one. Okay. Yes. Yes. You go back to Nigeria? Yes. Okay. I need to be in Kenya. Meeting in Kenya. Okay. Yes. okay. You're from, from Nigeria? Yes. I came in from um, 
and South African Sunday. Okay. Did the service that we had. Okay. Yes. Okay. But you're all over the world. I can see that. You're all over the world. <laughs> tentacles are Yes, we are in about 62 nations, right? Oh, goodness. Yes, yes. So I tried. Um, okay, for, because of Corona, for the past like two years, I didn't do any movement. Yeah, but I just started a little bit of a civil war. So the, the pastor here in Ghana. Yes. Yes, sir. Thank you. So we've been introduced today. Yes, sir. So we should find some occasions to meet. Yes, sir. We'll wait for that. Yes. Okay. But I'm, I'm hoping the rest of you, I hope you're enjoying your visit to Ghana. Yes, sir. Very well, sir. Everything is going fine. Yes, yes. yes. Very happy. 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 Thank you. That's great. Thank you.